I'm gonna call it right now. I think we're gonna see one. I don't know who's gonna do it. I don't know if Potting wants to do it again. Too risky. Too risky. Important situation here. All right, this is the deciding match, ladies and gentlemen. The final game, game number three, Parting versus Hero on Overgrowth here in Group D of this menu, Star League. Let's jump into it. The players are ready. The map is loading. I know you guys at home are ready. Let's do this. Bottom left in blue. It's parting. Attempted to close out the series with some DTs and failed. No proxies today. Damn it. I wanted that crazy third game. But here in the top right is the player that managed to uh, tie it up. It's Hero. Crazy game two. Now, just because we don't have approximately doesn't mean we don't see a crazy game here. That's true, Wolf. That's don't call true. it too early. I won't call it too early, but I'm sure these guys are going to be thinking of you know, safety first more than anything else in this kind of situation. The elimination game here. But as I say that, looks like Hero is going to be moving on the map, so maybe my proxy prediction might just come true. Yeah, maybe not as early as we thought. Uh, a very, very early scout here, uh, if it is to be a scout. I don't think that could be a scout, right? It's it's not on the two-player map like this. Not. It has to be a proxy. Proxy Stargate, right? But super early to hide the pro. Wouldn't it be great if it was like an in-base, two-base, uh, in-base in Stargate Pylon proxy? Gate or oh, in-base? In-base Stargate proxy. Oh my goodness. Is this just a scout? He's like that scared? Is it really? Well, that's actually not a good sign for Hero. I think that's too early. If I'm parting right now and I see this probe scout, I'm like, oh, he's scared. He's so scared. Like I'm gonna play greedy, and he's I, just gonna I'm play too defensively. I'm trying to think of like how much of an advantage that would give you in terms of scouting out that build order that early. Like, is he really scouting out to see if it's a proxy this early? I mean, if you think about it, like let's let's talk proxy uh, like locations. There's like three on this map basically. One's in base, one's behind the mineral line at the natural, or just in the natural in general. And the third one is like the classic uh, one where you proxied state, where it's like at the third base ish, kind of yeah, over there. Yeah. Pro scouting all three of those, you might miss it if it's like slightly off where your probe is. If you go to their base and you scout, you know that they're not proxying no matter what. That's true. And if you see nothing, you're like, okay, proxy's got to be nearby. It's still, it's, 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 I don't think it's good. I'm just trying to like maybe play devil's advocate for well, him here. That's what I'm thinking. It must be right. It must be simply he's scared of a proxy, so he's going to go straight to the main and figure that out instantly. Yeah. But that's going to put you down a worker for you know the start of the game for multiple minutes. And I feel like from a mental standpoint, psychologically in PvP, uh, this is when uh, you know you look at this and you're like, as as parting, like this guy is scared of me. He thought it was. I, he thought I might do it. I, I'm going to play greedy, I'm going to take risks because he's playing safe, and I'm not going to. I'm not going to play safe myself. We do see Stargates coming up at identical timings for these two. Yeah, once again, Stargate versus Stargate openings. So popular today, we are seeing them. We've seen a little bit of everything today, haven't we? Yeah, we've got a, you know, all different kind of uh, folks, different strokes here. But this has definitely been the most popular uh, type of build of choice. I feel like Parting's going to go Phoenixes. Especially uh, with I that think, robot. I think one of them definitely is going to go Phoenixes here. It seems to be both of them are trying to hot counter each other in that regard. I think it might be parting going for the Oracle though, because we do see that very quick. Oh, maybe both of them go Oracle. Okay. Well, I, I like the Oracle for Hero because mm. he's adding the two gates, but the Phoenix for parting because of how we've seen him go Phoenix into Robo right, every game. Right, right. That is a good point. That actually is a good point. Um, right. And that's that's just ba that was what I was basing my my theory on here, just because we've seen him do it so yeah. far so much today. Oh, it makes so much more sense. Yeah. I like this build a lot because it's really flexible. It's kind of a catch-all. You're gonna beat DTs. Uh, I was at Twilight Council, I believe. I'm not 100% sure what just got cancelled there. Uh, yep, yep. Twilight um, Council. 
But you're gonna you're gonna be good against DTs because you're gonna have that robo for that. You're gonna be good against Blink Stalker because you can get immortals out. And if it's like a super fast Blink Stalker, you can lift. You've got your mothership with your proton overcharge to buy enough time. Mm. It's it's a good catch all to expand. It's it's almost too safe in some ways, but well, like this is gonna get shut down. Two Phoenix is gonna kill this. He's gonna kill this. He has to sack it. He has to sack it. But he knows exactly what's going on. And we do see a three gate, very early aggression from Hero on this natural, and no immortal out anytime soon. Only one Stalker. I think it just has to get cancelled. Yeah, he's just going to use it to buy as much time as he can. Kill that pro before it makes the pile on! Oh, that was so important, and look at that. Locks him out, bring that motion core back. Deny the vision. Oh, he might get that photo never charge. He's got to do so much damage to this Nexus. Oh, here comes another Oracle, too. Here comes more warp ends. Another Oracle around the side. Oh, he's I going down this. the ramp. I don't know about this. But look at this, he's going to actually commit these Phoenix. If he loses the Phoenix and loses the photo never charge in the natural, this is so ballsy, I can't believe he's committing to this, and now he doesn't have a photo number charge in the main base. Oracle doing so much work. He Five didn't expect kills. this. This is a great, tricky move by Hero. The risk pays off. It's Farting up. down to 16 probes now. I think Hero can just come down here and two-shot this Nexus at this point. Yeah. Here we go. Zealot's tanking it, and here comes a big damage dealer to the back. The Stalkers takes a bit more than two shots, but still, your theory is correct. Still more than enough. And now he doesn't have any sentries, and no photon overcharge. Parting chose to try to hold the low ground, and I think that's going to cost him his tournament life here. Targeting down oh, that Immortal no. now. There's the lift. The Immortal survives. But he needs more than that. He needs more bumper. But hey, another Immortal pops out. That Zealot needs to get fighting in the back. He's just chilling, getting the fight. <laughs> getting the fight. Getting the fight, Zell. What are you doing? And now the Nexus goes down at the natural for here, so he's going to maintain a contain from here. Yeah, he's got a probe lead as well. Oh, he that's... goes down this ramp wrongly. Loses whatever comes down. Yeah. Can't commit. Cannot commit. Oh, he's thinking about it. If Hero only knew. Oh, and there it is. Okay. Gonna be targeting but the Immortal. The Immortal gets down here, which is key. Good micro here by Hero. Oh, he gets the Immortal. That's the most important part. So I don't know if that was worth it. He did lose three Sulkas, I believe, for that. I feel like, you know, I personally feel like it was worth it because. He's still going to be able to escape and trade here. He has, that's the only thing he's missing in his in this game, right, is his tech, is the Immortals. Like, he's trying to catch up with that. He has the better pro count. He has his next up first. Here comes another big move. Oh, here we go. There's the lift. lift. Up one. Wow. Parting with no fear. Such a close game. Pylon eliminated. And the Nexus is complete. Parting continuing Phoenix production because he knows this is going to become more important as the game goes on. But I worry for Parting because he's missing seven harvesters here. And he doesn't have that immortal. This is why I like that snipe on the immortal because now he can get his own immortals out and he knows he's going to have that tech advantage at the defensive location here at the Nexus, which is the most important thing for him. Actually, a bit of a waste on the foot and overcharge there to, for two stalkers. And an observer. <laughs> and an observer. I guess he gets rid of the observer at some. I don't know if that's worth it though. Yeah, well, I guess it doesn't really matter at this point either. He's so far ahead. He's up an entire base, up 20 supply. And gets a full scout of the main with that Phoenix, but he's going to lose it in the end. Um, what's up, worker? I mean, the Phoenix count? Uh, it's currently 3 to 0. It's about uh, to be 4 to 0. This is Parting's plan. This is his plan. Uh, let's go all in from here. He's, he lost his Observer. He can't do his DT shenanigans that we see him do with Phoenixes already today. He's just going to try to. I actually don't even understand what I don't he's going to try he, doing. I don't think actually think he can do anything because the Mothership Core is always going to have photon overcharge. And yeah. there's enough stalkers to kind of deflect these as well. And is he going to commit to it or is he going to wait? Face is definitely not going to wait. He's going to let it go. He's going to lose a lot of probes for it, but he you maintains know, that photon overcharge in the natural. He can reasonably assume that because uh, Parting is all, actually there's a scout here as well. I was going to say because he's been committing so much to Phoenixes that he doesn't have a Nexus, he knows he doesn't have a Nexus. Like. He kills even a few of the probes of his own, like That's four probes. Four. That's actually a lot of probes for someone on one base right now, going essentially all in. Twilight Cancel added. Parting's oh. face, he looks defeated. He's trying to find... Well, let's be real. He's going to need a miracle to come back into this one. The more stalkers that Hero walks in, the easier this game gets. You know, all he has to do is defend the front, and he wins the game. This is a very hopeless moment here for Parting. Like, today we find out just how how far Phoenixes could take you. Twilight Council is done, which means we can see a Templar Archives added right away. And I don't even think it's worth trying to get that parting. He's going to mm. try for it. 
He's trying to find, you know, enough damage to try and, I guess, even up the economy at least a little bit by getting rid of the main probes, but still, it's just not enough energy on these Phoenix to do so. He's adding more and more. He's going for that one big attack, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Harding is is looking, like, in his in his uh, camera at the bottom, like, he looks like he's, like, actually just trying, he's, like, trying his hardest to, like, just keep his wits about him. I think he legitimately feels like he has a chance here. That's, those are, uh, you know, fake Colossus, he knows it. He's going to engage here. I think this might be too early, but good force fields for his Zealots. Ah, uh, no lifts. No, only a couple, actually. Yeah, he gets an Immortal up. Not going to be enough. Still, yeah, just not enough for the rest of the army. And the Stalkers are going to start dealing with these Phoenix as well. He just doesn't have the money to continue to produce, to compete. Doesn't look like it, indeed. I'm going to start picking up some more of these Stalkers. But it's just not enough. Eventually, he's going to get overwhelmed. He's going to run out of energy. He's running out of Phoenix, man. He's got four left at this point. Three now. That's it. That's the last of them. Harding advanced in the GSL yesterday, but today... He's going to fall short by one game. Just by one game. What a great day. GG. Hero will advance along with Sets, the kings of Protoss versus Protoss in Korea. So I gotta say, the true king must be stats right now. That guy is just insane at this point. He's like, wow, you guys took a while to finish that up. I'm out of here. <laughs> Ooh, Harding uh, looks defeated. Yeah, he looks a little, a little angry here. Well, he's been saying in interviews, he's been saying, you know, a lot. He's, you know, talked about it on Twitter here and there. He wants to be, like, in both leagues. He wants to be, you know, prove that he's one of the top pros in the world. And uh, he's still got his GSL life on the... You know, he's still got that going for him, but you know, yep. to be in both leagues, it's more prestigious 